good morning. It's Tuesday morning. We're up in Adam early, packing lunches, making breakfast. We're gonna do a little day in the life. But the boys just got their breakfast. Um, I'm gonna make Berkeley some Eggo waffles per her request. I rolled out of bed. I haven't even like washed my face or anything yet, so. Okay. We'll do that, we'll do that here in a few, but I gotta do breakfast and lunches. Um, I was just taking my vitamins, so I thought this would be a good time to tell you guys about my ritual vitamins. I take the um, Essential for Women Multivitamin 18 Plus. I've been taking these for such a long time. Donnie also takes the men's, and I also take um, the probiotics by Ritual too. So I wanna say thank you to Ritual for partnering with me on this video today. Um, but I'm gonna give you guys a little close-up of these vitamins. I just take two of them each morning. Great multivitamin, and they smell good, and they taste good. They don't taste junky like a lot of multivitamins do and um, they have a nice peppermint smell and taste them which I absolutely love ritual goes above and beyond industry standards they do rigorous testing on every batch of their products to test for heavy metals allergens and microbes these are vegan friendly non-gmo project verified gluten-free and major allergen free too. They're actually, these capsules are actually designed to dissolve like later on in your small intestine, which is the ideal place for nutrient absorption. And they are designed to be super gentle on your stomach. So you can take them with or without food. They also have a happiness guarantee. So if you don't love your vitamins after 30 days, they will refund you. No matter how balanced your diet is, sometimes it's just hard to get certain nutrients. So these are awesome just to like fill those nutritional gaps. Plus it's delivered straight to your front door so you don't have have to worry about running out I love that Donnie and I both have a subscription of these vitamins so they they come when they need to and we never run out you guys can start a daily ritual that you feel good about too ritual is offering you guys 20% off if you use my code Kristen K 20 or you can go to ritual.com slash Kristen K 20 and get 20% off your first month so I will have all the info linked in the description box for you guys so definitely be sure to check out ritual You want this jacket? Yeah. You gonna wear your Hey Dudes today? Yeah. Do you know where they are? Found them. Okay, I got the kids dropped off at school. I just pulled up at Walmart. I'm gonna go in and get Easter stuff. So today is, I want to say today is the 4th, April 4th. So it is Tuesday. Um, this weekend is Easter. It's on Sunday, obviously. 
So, and then on Monday is my birthday. April 10th is my birthday. So we are going over to Central Oregon, one of our favorite places in Oregon. We got a house at Sun River, like a resort vacation area. You guys have gone over there with us over the years. Um, quite a few times, but last year we did the same thing. We rented a house, um, Airbnb, Verbo, um, with my sister, my brother-in-law, my nephew, and um, our family. So we're doing the same thing again this year. It was like the best birthday ever last year, just super low-key with my favorite people in the world. Um, so we're doing that again. So we're going to head over. We're going to pull the kids out of school early on Friday because we can check into the house at four and it's like a three hour drive if we wait till they get out of school we won't get over there until probably like seven o'clock at night so we're gonna pull them a little bit early on friday and head over the mountain it is super snowy on the pass so we'll see how it ends up but um i'm gonna take you guys with us over the weekend so sunday we'll be coming home sunday but sunday's easter so that morning we're gonna do breakfast do a little easter egg hunt and that kind of stuff um so I've got to get some stuff for that. And then also Easter Bunny has to get some stuff all rounded up. So we're going to do that. That was the weirdest wink ever. I was like, <laughs> um, so we're going to do that right now. And then Monday is my birthday. So we're going to celebrate my birthday over the weekend. So that's the plan. So I'm going to get in Walmart and see what I can find. I feel like there was something else that I needed to get. Last night when I was like falling asleep, I was like, oh, I need to run by Walmart in the morning and get. And now I can't remember. So anyways, let's go shopping. They have the cutest stuff for kids, like little, like the 12 to uh, 12 month to 5 T. The cutest stuff. Girls and boys. Little matching sets. All these little PJs. And look at these swimsuits. I wish these were Berkeley size, but they're not. But look how cute. Oh, look what I found. A Stanley dupe. <laughs> Ozark Trail tumbler, 40 ounces, with the straw. It's literally the same. Purple, look at these colors. Nice. All right, I'm back from Walmart and I've got three bags of stuff right here. So I'm gonna give you a little Walmart haul of Easter stuff. Some of it's not Easter stuff. I already have the kids Easter baskets and I already got a few things for their Easter baskets also that are just in the closet. Um, so this is the rest of it. And like I said, we're spending Easter with my sister and brother-in-law and nephew. So I got a couple of little things for his Easter basket too. Um, Berkeley just got new sandals before we went to Palm Springs. So typically I get the kids like a new pair of Crocs or a new pair of sandals for Easter. Um, but the boys, well, Brayden is like not into Crocs anymore. Like he doesn't want to wear any. So he's been wearing his Nike slides. Um, but I got him some flip flops. I have to, I have to buy his shoes in the men's section now. I can't, it's crazy. He's 12 and he wears size seven men. So I got him these little flip flops. And then I got Brody, these ones for his Easter basket. Just some basic flip flops for the summer. Um, I got a couple of things that I needed for some like planning stuff. Um, I got myself this little journal to keep track of like brand deals and just like videos, filming, work stuff in here. And then I also got this planner. So I have a um, happy planner which I've used for. I think this is my third happy planner, but it's been in the drawer for like six months and I never pull it out. Um, and I saw this one at Walmart and it's just a monthly planner, which is all I need because I like to see like my entire month of, you know, filming on this day, posting on this day, submitting this video on this day, whatever. I just like the month. I don't ever use the week section. So a whole bunch of my planner like completely goes unused. So this is gonna be so much better. 
and I can like keep these in my purse, um, you know, on the go, and whatnot. So I got those. Um, we were out of these uh, big chewy bars, so I just got some more of those. Um, okay, then I got myself this wallet. I've had the black wallet that I have. I have had it for, I want to say, a couple, few years. Um, and it's kind of starting to fall apart. So I just got uh, this one for myself and I love it. So it's got spots for the cards, ID, a little cash spot, and a zipper for change. So I got that. Um, this will go in Brody's Easter Basket little Jurassic World sticker book. You can like create a scene. With stickers, there's tons of stickers and a bunch of different scenes, and then there's also like coloring pages in the back too. Um, I got a couple little things, little clothing items for Berkeley's basket. Um, I got the kids' pajamas too, all new pajamas, which I typically do every Easter. Those are already in their Easter baskets. I'm gonna have to like put all that stuff in some sort of concealed bag so they don't see it when we're <laughs> dry on a road trip. Um, Look at how cute. They have the cutest clothes for like little littles and like Berkeley size. She's like a six, seven, um, but they had a bunch of these little sleeveless dresses. So I got her that one. And then you can never have too many just basic leggings. She loves wearing like leggings and sweatshirts to school this time of year when it's cold and rainy still. So look how cute. I swear I had some exactly like this when I was her age. I love these. Just little mauve with some daisies on there. Um, and then I got my nephew a couple little outfits to go in his, his Easter basket. So I got him this little dinosaur shirt. Um, and then these gray little shorts. You cannot go wrong with the gray animals for the little kids. How much were these? $4.98. And I think these are the same. $4.98. These little gray shorts to go with. And then I got him this outfit. Um, these little peach colored shorts with this little tank top. Uh, let's see, this will go in Berkeley's. It's a unicorn sticker face book. So all the stickers you add and like decorate your own unicorn basically. They love, Brody and Berkeley love the sticker books. Um, I got a whole bunch of candy stuff. All these eggs that I got. I got a ton of eggs. We're gonna do a big Easter egg hunt, and there's a one gold one in each. I got four bags because there's four kids. So there's gonna be a lot of eggs for them to hunt for, but it's gonna be fun. Um, but then the golden eggs, I always put money in there. So I got four golden eggs, and they know they're only allowed to find one golden egg, and then the rest is fair game. I got some of the Easter basket like stuffer stuff. What is this called? Easter grass. I got purple and two blues. And then Easter morning we're gonna do cinnamon rolls. One of my girlfriends um, has a bakery and she makes the best homemade cinnamon rolls ever and they're like massive. So she's making me those on Friday morning and then gonna deliver them to me Friday afternoon like right before we leave. Um, so then we'll put those in the freezer when we get to the Sun River house and we'll have those Sunday morning for breakfast. So for that, I got these cute little Easter plates for Easter breakfast and then these little napkins. Um, this will go in Brody's Easter basket, this little Jurassic World minis. And um, I got both of the boys one of these Minecraft eggs. It's uh, little Minecraft tattoos. And I got all of the kids one of these Sour Punch twists. The amount of candy it's a lot. Uh, Sour Punch Twist. And oh, I got these pens for my planner. Creative markers. Double ended. So random. Uh, Scrub Daddy, because we needed another sponge. I got all all three of the kids the Reese's Pieces eggs, little cartons. So in their Easter basket, this little LOL egg with LOL. Tattoos for Berkeley. Um, and then I got Raiden. 
because Berkeley and Brody got this uh, sticker books. Braden's not really into that kind of stuff, so I got him this little sketchbook. It's just plain paper and then has like a little pocket in the front so you can, you know, customize the front. So he got that. I can get that paper back in. And I, I got some of this, the pink stuff. Miracle cleaning paste. It's good stuff. Um, and then I think the rest is just candy to stuff the eggs. So I got that one big bag, and then we got the white Reese's eggs. We got the peanut butter Reese's eggs. Wait, aren't these peanut butter too? Yeah, but these ones are white, and then these are just like chocolate. Milk chocolate or whatever. We got some mini Twix and some Starburst jelly beans and some Hershey's eggs. So that is all for my Walmart haul. I'm gonna get all this stuff hidden, put away. I'm gonna see if my sister will help me fill all these eggs like Saturday night after the kids go to bed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get all this stuff put away and then I actually got my big calendar down off of the wall here. Um, keep it like on the end of this wall right here. Uh, I need to do the April calendar, so I'm gonna do that also. I was just picking at my face, so ignore that. But I just got our April calendar done. So I can get that hung back up. It is going to be a very, very busy month. Baseball practice starts next week for all three kids. Donnie is coaching the boys team and we're traveling for baseball once a week. We play at home once a week and then we play away once a week. So it's gonna be a hectic schedule but it's gonna be fun we have a lot of really big exciting things coming and I cannot wait to tell you guys about it so some of that is on that calendar that I just filled out so I'm like Woo! anyways also working on planning a little baby shower baby sprinkle for um, someone very near and dear to me for this summer. So I've been working on that this morning and a whole bunch of other stuff. Hello, do you wanna say hi to the vlog? Jasper's walking around my feet. Mm. It's like mother. He's purring, don't let him fool you. Oh, Jasper. Okay, now cat hair all over me, but I have been catching up on laundry from traveling. So I took all the bedding out of the trailer and we've been slowly but surely washing all of it. There's a lot of bedding. Oh, I also washed Berkeley's down comforter from her bed here in the house. And then I have a, Oh, my tripod. You guys are literally on my tripod and it's like falling. Sorry. Um, I also have a basket of laundry hiding down here. I need to swap more out and add to this pile and get it all folded. So that is what I'm going to work on now.
Okay, so I told you guys last week, I vlogged on Tuesday last week also, but on Tuesdays, me and the kids call it Treat Tuesday, and uh, they all get out of school like 10 minutes apart on Tuesdays. So, um, cause they're at three different schools. That's just how it is in our town. Um, so I pick up Berkeley, then I pick up Brody, then I pick up Brayden on Tuesdays. But then all the other days of the week, Brayden gets out like an hour after Berkeley and Brody. So on Tuesdays, the kids call it Treat Tuesday and we go get treats from wherever they want to. So typically Berkeley and Brody want to get um, a smoothie from like a small local coffee shop and then Brayden usually wants to get like a brownie or a cookie from Starbucks so we'll see what they choose today but it's just something that we started doing um, and they love it so we're gonna head go get in this first school pickup line I have just been getting a ton of editing done since you guys saw me folding that laundry that's what I've been working on so Let's go get the kids and go get our treats. Once again, Brody got his wild berry smoothie with whipped cream and sprinkles. The most tastiest drink, but not the best drink. Water is the best drink. It is? Yeah, water is, That's, duh. Duh. Starbucks will kind of start for you. I have a pickup order for Kristen. Kristen, I believe we are working on it and we'll have it up here for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Brayden, here you go, bud. Yeah. Now oh, we gotta go get some fuel. Can't wait to see how much the fuel is today. How much do we think it's gonna be? Um, $130. Cause I'm on E, like my gas light is on. So how much do you think it's gonna be? One everybody, <laughs> everybody take a legit guess. <laughs> $100. Well, okay, Brayden um, guessed 130 Um, about $150. $150? What yeah. do you think, Berkeley? Mm, Brayden, $120. $120, okay. What if none of us are I guess we'll see. Hey. Good, thank you. Can you fill it with premium? Okay. Do you have any rewards? Yeah. So it's three ninety nine a gallon right now for premium. And I'm on E, so we'll see how much it ends up being. We're pumping now. I'll let you guys know. Let's see. Oh, $95.20. Eight cents. Eight cents. So, so Berkeley, Berkeley is the closest. 23.8 gallons. Just for 90 bucks? Mm-hmm. $95 to fill up the beast. The beast. <laughs> now Dad's the truck beast. is the beast. The Dad's, Dad's truck is the beast? What's my car? Um, I don't know. The, oh, the it's beast not is, that um, the beast. Uh, why? Trucks are, trucks are better than cars. Yeah. So I totally forgot to pick up the camera earlier, got busy, cooked dinner, we had tacos, Taco Tuesday, and then took Berkeley to uh, gymnastics, just got home, 7.17, we stayed a little late talking to the coach, um, so she's doing bath, um, and then I'm gonna get in the bath, but... <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me today. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one very soon. Bye.